This week, Romney said, there's no legislation with regards to abortion that I'm familiar with that would become part of my agenda. But in June, Romney said, I support the reversal of Roe versus Wade because it's a bad law and bad medicine. Wow. The reversal of Roe versus Wade, that's a huge statement. That is really, really scary. I don't trust his new position. People don't change, so the recent one would probably not be what he stands for. Particularly in the last few months of the campaign, he has been trying to sort of weasel his way into the middle. This week, Romney said, we're not going to provide a tax break to high-income taxpayers. But in January, Romney said, We're going to cut the taxes on everyone across the country by 20%, including the top 1%. If you said it in January, the only reason why you're saying it this week is because it's grind time. It's a political ploy. During the debate, Romney said, In fact, I do have a plan that deals with people with pre-existing conditions. That's part of my health care plan. But in March, Romney said, If they are 45 years old and they show up and say, I want insurance because I have heart disease, it's like, hey guys, we can't play the game like that. You've got to get insurance when you're well. And then if you get ill, you're going to be covered. Oh, boy. This is not very convincing. Instead of really saying what he's going to do, he's saying what people want to hear. You're going to put a spin on it and say what you need to do to get elected. You obviously are like, you're lying now. He'll say anything and do anything just to get votes. He's going to go back to his original policies. You do need to look back to see who Mitt Romney has been from the very beginning. Don't be fooled.